Now Stewie here is our great inox man. He's gonna tell me how to drill a hole straight through a piece of tube because I have no idea. So what do you do, Stu? Uh, trade secrets, can't tell you. <laughs> Good on you. It's taken me 25 years to learn how to do it. <laughs> now you just have to use pipe. Work out the middle of the hole. Work out the middle of the hole. Start with the middle of the hole there. Yeah. Draw a line around it with a piece of paper. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. So there's your hole. Yep. Draw your line around it. Yes. Yeah. Then 25 mil tube times 3.142 is 72 and a bit. Halve that, 39. Uh, sorry, 79. And then you measure from there to there at 79.2. And that's the center line of that hole on the other side of the tube. But then how do you make sure you line up your drill? Ah, oh, you drill each side. Yeah. Ah, that's the trade secret. Oh, I yeah. drill all the way through. No, no, that's dopey. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> I never knew that. Oh, on our last little bits before we go into the water, we've got a mast going in on Monday. It's now Saturday. We're halfway through painting the mast. Thank goodness. And Rick's down here. Hello, Rick. Hello. Mast step clean up so that the new, the painted and clean at the base of the mast step, if you can see that in there. Go. Yep, look at it all clean up. It was a little bit icky. It was a lot of icky. In fact, oh, and what made it so bad was because, and I'm not sure if I've even shown you this, but when we moved the mast, we took off the hydraulics. Um, bits and pieces that go with everything and then we proceeded to let out the anchor chain which is also hydraulic believing that it was on a different circuit hydraulic oil everywhere M most most on the deck but a fair lot in the bilge as well so that's what this don't be sick things offend you turn away now that looks like poop but believe me, it's not poop. It's oil, dirt, 32 years, 32 years of grime from the mast step. No wonder the surveyor said, it's probably okay, but I can't see it. The bait step, of course, it was too much around it. That right, Rick? I didn't hear that last bit. You didn't hear that last bit. I'll just make up that story then. Me Just to give you modern boaties a perspective, suspect, perspective, a perspective. Just to give you modern boaties a perspective of how deep bilges can be in these old boats. When I showed you the angle before with the mast step, probably didn't look that far. Now Rick's six foot something, six foot one and a bit. Six foot three. He's never been fit. Six Donald foot. Trump is. He's that tall. I'm taller than him. He's not. Now, have a look. There he is down there. This is this is where the seat our seat is, our saloon seat, right there. We've just taken that off there. So that's that height. That's up to my knee. And there's his shiny noggin. And there's our ancient hot water system. There. Where is Isotherm. The one? Feel free to donate one. We don't really have any hot water anymore. Uh, except when we're under engine. Ricky, smile so everyone can see how happy you are down there doing the bilges. Well, actually, they're very happy that you lost weight so you could do all this. Uh, who's happy? Oh, the, everybody. Right. Everybody's happy that you haven't sent your wife down there that could never get down or back. <laughs> That's where Rick, uh, Rick reckons he's going to put me if um, some pirates, pirates come. This is our pirate hole. See, uh, that's false floor there of the, of the set e cupboard. Don't boy. So boy and I are going down there. So if you see our boat floating and you think, oh, maybe he left Lou and boy down there after the pirates attack, come and lift the lid and see if I'm there. Not sure what. Done. Done. Mate, I wouldn't eat my breakfast down there, but she's pretty bloody good. 32 years of dirt down there. We actually didn't know that we could actually climb in there, did no, we? No, it's all blocked off. 
Ugh. And then we found this. We knew we can get down to that one, but we didn't know we can get to the next. There's another. That to the yet. bottom of the boat. Yeah, that's where we would hide me. There's another temporary floor floor there. We didn't know there was. We could get through the next floor. Okay, but we can. All go today. Train going back in. Life raft holder going in by Stuart. Tell you what, if you ever need work done here in our Merrimart, this guy is brilliant. He will he'll do anything for you. Won't you, Stuart? Sorry. I'm just putting you on YouTube, doing an ad for you on YouTube, saying that you're a brilliant worker. <laughs> we'll go that far. Yeah, he is. He's a great worker. there was somebody that might put a mobile phone up there without a retrieval um, a retrieval line and that happened to be coastline then Rick has just hoisted his little um, spinning pole going up there but guess what happened he did not have a retrieval line on it so up he goes So taking the fenders off, or not? No. Okay, so about to leave Halmerima after being here for one month and three days. Have to charge for three days. We charge you for today. Yeah. Uh, no, not for tonight. Okay, good. So goodbye. For our next adventure, which I don't mind telling you. I wouldn't mind going last week. This weather for this time, after being on, <laughs> not sailing for a month, I'm a bit nervous about getting uh, getting the cobwebs out and get moving again. Um, hopefully, we can just stay ahead of it enough to not be hairy scary. See you later. Yeah.